Harmful algal blooms is something we deal with every year here in Southwest Florida, but how do they form? There's still so many question marks into the formation of these blooms. I'm Fox 4 meteorologist Andrew Shipley, and I came to Vester Field Station in Benita Springs to find out a little bit more of some of the research being done around these blooms. Meet Kayla Hughes. She's a graduate research assistant at Florida Gulf Coast University's Vester Field Station. She's also researching ways to help us better understand how harmful algal blooms form. Within my thesis, I'm trying to find what's happening when chlorophyll is blooming and peaking. So what are the other parameters like temperature, salinity, uh, those other types uh, and nutrients, what are they doing at the same time when the chlorophyll is peaking? Taking you back to middle school science class, chlorophyll is the green pigment in plants. It's also found in algae. So chlorophyll is a great indicator for water body health. It's found in all phytoplankton, which are the very tiny little creatures in the water um, and excess nutrients can lead to more phytoplankton growth, which ultimately forms harmful algae blooms. But how important is chlorophyll to you and I? It's a great indicator for upcoming blooms. Uh, we can get alerts if the chlorophyll gets too high, which causes us to want to investigate more and see if we can try to warn people a hab is coming. And if you're wondering if they have seen any of those early warning signs, you says they have, especially after all the recent rain. So after a rain event, you can expect more runoff from residential and urban areas that may contain those key nutrients that phytoplankton need to reproduce and multiply. So we can see kind of the reflection in the chlorophyll levels. And while Yu's research is still in the data collection phase, she hopes this information can be used in bigger ways. And that can hopefully in the future lead to developing some kind of model saying if these parameters hit X amount, then maybe we should keep an eye out for a potential bloom. At Vester Field Station, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.